Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, I'm up here at Moto Girl Cleveland. Uh, and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put the acid in a battery. Uh, now, some of the economical price batteries you find, uh, they do not come with acid already in them, um, versus your sealed or your AGM batteries uh, or lithium ion, that they're already ready to go right out of the box. Now, this is a more economical price battery, um, which is cool. Um, the downside to it is you will have to put the acid in it yourself, which really isn't that big a deal. But uh, let's take a look at it, how to identify it, and how this whole process works. So you will have your battery here. Go ahead and get out of the box. There you go. Have your battery, and they'll have they'll be white, clear, gray, some variation, something like that. And really, the, you'll even see the upper and lower level on here. That's going to be referring to the acid levels. Um, but really, the big thing is they're kind of see-through. It's enough that when you put fluid in here, you'll be able to see how high the fluid is. And then in with that, you will get a container that has sulfuric acid in it. Now, this really is sulfuric acid, so please be careful with it. So we're going to pull it out of the box here. We're going to leave it inside the plastic bag for now, but this is sulfuric acid. And when you add this uh, to the battery, the chemical reaction with the left plates and the sulfuric acid produces the electric current that is your battery. So the big thing you're really focusing on um, when you fill this, and I'll give it a second, I'll run down how you fill it. What you're really focusing on is you wanna make sure you have the plates submerged. When you pull the caps off of this thing, you'll be able to look down in there and you'll be able to see those lead plates. You wanna make sure they're complete, completely submerged. If there's any part of the lead plate sticking out, that means you're not using the battery's full capacity. Um, so you have your upper and lower level marks, but the flip side of that is if you can't see this or you're unsure of your marks, just make sure your plate is secured, or sorry, make sure your plate is submerged. Now, before we open this, we're gonna go get ourselves a pair of safety glasses and move the camera in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. And definitely wear some eye protection. This stuff will screw you up, it's, it's no joke. So, let's get to it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is open up our package. It has the sulfuric acid in it. I do have safety glasses on. All right, so this is the actual little fill cap vent here, which you can crack free. And over here, you have the little output port. Now this is completely sealed off. Um, so you can take a pair of side cuts or cutters or whatever. I have a pair of wire strippers handy. But we're gonna cut the tip of this off. Just the tip. Uh, we'll take the hose out of here. We'll be able to take this rubber hose, stick that down on the output port. Now you will get some of these that have the same number of ports on them that have ports in the battery. You can just peel the cap off, flip it over, dump it all in there. This one's not quite that simple. So we will pull this sticker off. We're gonna take a pair of pliers and pull each one of these little plungers out. Now these just press in there. There's no threads or anything on these ones. So we're gonna set these off the side. You could do it one at a time. But I'm just gonna do it like this. So now what we're going to do, I'm gonna take off my weighing ring, even though it's silicone. Um, if you get this stuff on your hands, you wanna wash it off immediately. If you aren't sure you got it on your hands, you should feel burning sensation, and then you'll know. I'm going to cut this hose down a little bit because I don't think it needs to be so long. So we're going to cut it down to right about there. So we're going to stick over here. We'll spin this around so you can see better. So I'm going to start filling this and hopefully you'll be able to see here. You can either like gravity fill it or maybe even give it a little bit of a squeeze. You should be able to see the fluid start to go up. Now there's going to be a lot of air bubbles in here, so you'll probably have to try it multiple times. So there's the first one. And we'll continue on through the rest of them. Now we'll probably have to go back and refill the first one again. 
as the air bubbles all get up to the top. You shouldn't, you should have more than enough acid in here to do your battery. I've never had to buy more acid yet. Sometimes you have extra. I can see like that shows full right there on that cell. Let's see where it fills up here. Now you're going to notice a little rotten egg smell. That's the acid. It's completely normal. Uh, don't go breathing in the fumes closely. When you get a whiff or two, you'll be okay. But, you know, use your head. All right, so I filled them all once. So now we're going to go back through and fill them up some more. For the ones that bled down or drained down. If you overfill them, it's a little bit. I mean, it's, if you overfill them a little bit, it's okay. The big thing is you just don't want them under full. We'll give that a second to see if it all needs to fill up anymore. See if it drains down and needs to fill up anymore. All right, so what we're going to check out now is the battery voltage. So there's some debate as to whether or not you can uh, just put this thing right in your bike or if you need to put it on a charger first. And if I can get it sit in one spot here. There we go. We'll see where we're at. So right now, we're sitting at 12.1. All right, so technically a new battery is 12.5, so it wouldn't hurt to put this thing on a trickle charger. Uh, the odds are if you put it in the bike, it'll probably start up and work. However, to guarantee it's topped off, I'd throw it on a trickle charger for a few hours. But before you do that, now that it's all full, you can see it's actually all slightly above the line, but that's okay. There might be a few more air bubbles down there. I'm going to take all the caps, put those back in there. I should just push right back down in. You can use your fingers. So if there's any drips of acid on the battery, they might get on your fingertips like they just did for me. So I'm going to have to go wash these off. Now that that's done, the battery is ready for installation. Now I should add in um, that hose that I initially cut. I just realized that is also the drain hose that they give you that goes on here. So actually, I probably should have either used the hose, not used the hose, and just put the plunger itself or the little nipple itself into the port or dealt with using the entire length of the hose. So, live and learn. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. This battery's uh, put on a trickle charger for a few hours, installed on the bike, and it's ready to go ride. That's all I got.